What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here, primed and ready to deliver you week three of Fella here on the channel. Last week we lost, basically due to a crit. We lost due to a crit against Tom and the, uh, the uh, Dutch Harbor Wall Rings, uh, losing 1-0 and taking us down to 0-2 with a minus three differential. This week we take on the, I believe, founder of Fella. I believe he was the founder of it. Um, Waffles, the Asian Yen Bear, aka Alex, aka really, really good, really, really good guy, good friend, fantastic dude. Like, uh, if you haven't seen his content before, definitely go check it out. He's a really, really good YouTuber. Uh, great guy. I've battled him once before, and he did uh, stomp me. Oh, give me a second. My throat was getting so dry. I've been recording for like, I want to say like about an hour straight, just straight recording, like one video after another after another, just quick fire. So I've been talking almost constantly for the past hour, and it's been kind of painful. It's been kind of taxing upon my, um, my voice. So if you hear me gulp a little bit, I just open myself uh, one of my bottles of Gatorade. I don't think it's gonna, you know. Yeah, but um, yeah. So he's pretty much the founder of the league. Uh, he's a really, really good battler too. So I was really, really nervous about this matchup. But I spent so much time prepping for this. Like you have no idea. I had every contingency plan set up as a just in case of like anything he could have brought. And I was really happy to not see the X cloud because I didn't have too much to handle it. So I'm really happy I didn't see the x file here. Uh, Dreadagon would have also been very annoying as well, but I had things to could take care of it. But we'll talk about his whole, his whole team right now. Uh, he Out of the mods he could have brought. These are the mods he could have brought. He could have brought Megalopunny, Crobat, Darmanitan, Shaman, Florgis, uh, S Cavalier, x Cloud, uh, Dreadagon, Rhydon, Glaceon, Mr. Mime, and Mew. So we see here that he decided to bring uh, Megalopunny, Dreadagon. Oh, yeah, he did bring the Dreadagon. What, what was I looking at that I was thinking in my head? Rhydon. Rhydon would have been a, kind of annoying. Uh, Shaman a little bit too. I'm kind of happy he didn't bring Shaman. Uh, really, really happy he didn't bring Crobat. I don't, really like, I don't like Crobat at all. It's just too fast. Too much fast on his team. Uh... So you got Megalopony, Dreadagon, Florgis, Darmanitan, S Cavalier, and Mew. So he has a really good, really good uh, Fairy Dragon Steel Core right here amongst these mons, which is really, really cool to see. Most people usually go for Firewater Grass, which he has access to in the form of... Actually, he doesn't have access to that. He doesn't even have a water type, so ignore that. So right off the bat, I kind of had to try and figure out what kind of sets he was running on his mons. I wanted to try and figure that out as soon as possible, but regardless of any of that, I wanted to just you know, try to start this battle off strong, as I'm just gonna go ahead and click the normal speed level and click play. So I lead with my Terrakion off the bat as he leads with his uh, S Cavalier. So I don't want to be the guy taking a drill run or an iron head. So I switch immediately into Volcanion as he just goes for an iron head as I go for a Steam Eruption, and get the burn on his Florges. So, even if he was specially defensive or physically defensive, it doesn't matter. I went for the Steam Eruption there, got the burn. I do reveal here the Sludge Wave as he goes for an HP Ice, I believe. Try I think he was predicting me to swap out into... No, HP Fire. He, he said he said in his video uh, for our battle, it was HP Fire. He was predicting me to switch into the Scizor. Uh, I decided that I would just stay in because a Florges doesn't do jack shit to a Volcanion at all, like in any universe, so I decided to just stay in and go with it, and uh, he does die then to the burn, so that's that's really, really nice. He then brings in his Drudagon here, as I just go for an HP Ice, which does really crazy damage. He goes for a Dragon Claw, doesn't do all that much to me. Uh, he's going to swap out here and then preserve it. I just go for another HP Ice just to be safe. 
as he has his wrecking ball in here. I don't want to take a rock slide or an earthquake, so I go out into Onisan, my physically defensive Latios here. Uh, he goes for the earthquake as I dodge it then. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's scarfed at this point. Uh, I just go for Draco Meteor, kind of my safest play, kind of not. Uh, based upon the calcs there, I was able to run those calcs. I determined immediately that this S Cavalier was uh, assault vested. Pretty much determined immediately that this thing was assault vested. So I, I knew I had to deal with it specific ways. So I go out into Tony Stark, the Scizor, as he, he goes for the drill run. Safe play. Uh, I go ahead and go for the knockoff here. Get the assault vest off of him just to make sure. He goes for another drill run, which doesn't do nearly as much now. As I then just go for the superpower. I calc it, made sure to kill. Go for the superpower. Down goes the S Cavalier. So he now goes into his Mega Low Punch. Something no, he probably has. Uh, he probably has Fire Punch, so he's probably gonna go for it and kill me. And whatever. So he uh, Mega Evolves, goes for the Return, predicting me to switch. I just stay in and go for the Super Power and literally almost take it out. I, I knew it was gonna do a lot of damage, but now he's in Bullet Punch range, so he has to swap that thing out. He said a lot in this match that he over predicted a lot, or he he tried to predict a lot, and I was kind of working around all of that. Based upon my own assum uh, assumptions about how the match was going, so again, don't take what happens in this match as a credit to how good of a battler he is, because he is absolutely top notch. Uh, Waffles is fantastic, dude. He he's an amazing battler. So uh, he he went out into his Darmanitan here. As I decide, I'm just gonna go for bull punch. I know I'm dying this turn. I know, I know I'm going to be dying ASAP, so I go for two bullet punches in a row here, and uh, he just uh, kills me off of a U-turn, but this allows me to get the switch initiative. Uh, so he goes out into his Mew. As I go out into Terrakion, I know it wasn't my best play, but I need to get damage on this thing, so I just go for an X-Scissor. I do live a Psychic with 6% health, as I do just go for another X-Scissor, uh, bring this thing down really, really low. And now I'm kind of at the point where I can just sit something in front of this team and just kill it all. So I go for the Volt Switch with my Jolteon and kill off his uh, kill off his Mew as I then just go out into my uh, physically defensive uh, Latios. He goes for the U-turn here, expecting it to do a lot more. He he figured out I was physically defensive there. I go for the Draco and kill his Dredagon. So that's kind of nice. He then goes back into his Wrecking Ball. Expecting me to switch, he goes for an Earthquake. As I decide to just go for a Recovery, which is really, really good for me. I'm back at full HP. He now decides he needs to sack off his Mega Low Punny. At this point, he kind of gave up the match. He knew for a fact that he, he just decided to go out in a Blaze of Glory. He goes for the Earthquake, protect, predicting the switch. Because I'm at minus 4 special attack, but at this point, I know I can eat up any hit from Darmanitan and then hit it back. Uh, just with a little bit of damage, chip damage, and then keep recovering up. So I decide I'm just going to go and just keep clicking Draco here. Uh, he's locked into Earthquake. I, he can't do anything to me. I can't do anything to him. And uh, yeah, so we actually win 4-0 here against Waffles the Asian Yen Bear and the Tampa Bay Tyrantrums, bringing us to 1-2 and two with a plus 1 differential, which isn't bad. I, I'm actually happy with that. It was a really, really big win this week. Kind of counteracted the two losses we had already. Got us in the pop pluses again. Uh, next week's going to be really, really tough match, though, so hopefully it'll work out positively. possibly lose again but you know we'll we'll just we'll take it week by week next week we take on eric aka clumsy monkey and the miami heat trans so tune in next time for that match until then i'm poke primer signing off